What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Blown Coverage. As always, this is your boy Joey, and I am here with Tyler as well as Corey. And today, we're going to be going over the week four of the NFL picks. But before we get into that, you guys already know, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. Let us know what you guys are thinking. So we're kicking things off with none other than the Green Bay Packers on Thursday night hosting the Detroit Lions. Um, pretty upsetting. This game happened last night. Uh, a lot of holes in Green Bay's game, but, you know, we're not expected to be that good this year. So it is what it is. I'll still support my team. I don't give a fuck. But the next game that we're kicking <laughs> off, guys, is going to be uh, the Falcons and the Jaguars on Sunday. Corey, what do you like about this matchup? What do you got? Uh, I got to say, you know, I really like both teams. I'm really becoming a fan of the Falcons, though. You know, they're such a young team. You know, they have Desmond Ritter at quarterback. They got B. John Robinson, which is a stud and, and a steal for a draft pick. Not a steal. I mean, he was top 10, I believe. But uh, just all around, you know, Kyle Pitts, you know, they, they have a great team around them. And yeah, the Jaguars went to the playoffs last year, but I'm taking the Falcons on this one for sure. What about you, Tyler? Who you got, brother? Yeah, I'm going with the Falcons. Um, Carolina looks like crap. Uh, <laughs> um, Bijan is balling, so I'm going with, with Atlanta for sure. Yeah, yeah. Atlanta, Atlanta's got a pretty solid um, squad. I think that they got some things to work on, but uh, aside yeah. from that, man, they're, they're a solid squad. Uh, next game is going to be the Rams at the Indianapolis Colts. Tyler, who you got on this one? Dude, I'm kind of pissed uh, about the Colts beating my boys last weekend, but um, <laughs> I, I don't think they're very good still. I think Gardner Minshew is should be their starting quarterback, um, yeah. and, he's, and he's not. However, you know, we just had a bad game. The Colts aren't that good, so uh, I'm going with the Rams for sure. I think that um, rookie receiver, um, Richardson, is, is, nah, um, Puka, Puka. Puka. Oh, uh, the receiver. The receiver for Rams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I got him on He's my bench. He's show, dude. That fool's good. Yeah, I, I tried picking him up, but uh, it was a little too late. Yeah, snatched. Yeah, you got to <laughs> – whoever, whoever gets in first. Going Rams. <laughs> Rams. Yeah. What about you, Corey? Who are you taking on this one? Colts or L.A.? Wait, so is Richardson back this week? I don't know. Is he, Tyler? Richardson? I don't think so. No, I think he's still. Uh, I think I think the protocol for NFL is two to three weeks, and it's only been. Yeah. I think this will be his second week. Yeah. So I mean, if that's the case, man, I think I'm, I'm gonna go with the Rams too. You know, I, I I really like Puka. I mean, he came out of nowhere, fifth round pick. You know, out of nowhere. You know, you know, next man up mentality, man. He freaking he's been balling for sure, like you guys said. You know, since Cooper Cup's been out, so. Yeah. I, you know, I'm really excited to see his progression through. I, can you imagine when Cooper Cup gets back and you have Puka and Cooper? Like, they're going to have a pretty good dynamic there. But for this game, I'm going to have to go with the Rams, too. Yeah. I mean, the the Rams, they look like as long as they can use him and utilize Nakua, um, I think they can get the dub with this one. The next yeah. game we're moving on to is going to be the Baltimore Ravens and the Cleveland Browns. Marcus, I'm sorry, not Marcus. Corey, what do you like about this one, brother? <laughs> uh, so, you know, both teams are, you know, looking pretty good. I heard that Odell Beckham's not going to be playing uh, this Sunday. So, that I mean, that plays a factor, you know, that pulls a little attention off of Odell, obviously, and then it puts it on uh, Zay Flowers now. But uh, Bateman's out, too, so. Yep. I don't know, man. I got to say, I might have to take the Browns. You know, the Ravens are kind of banged up. You know, I really like I really like the Ravens. I feel like they have such good talent on their team. They saw Mark Andrews on there, who's a baller is himself. But, you know, they're kind of banged up at the receiver position. They're going to have to depend a little bit on Zay Flowers, the rookie. Yeah. So I might have to go Browns. And also, like tying into that, you know, the Browns, I, I believe I read up on it, and they only allowed like two scoring touchdowns in the red area. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm take, I might have to take the Browns on this one. I hate to take them because I love Lamar so much, but I might have to take the Browns, yeah. I feel you. What about you, Tyler? Yeah, dude, not only are we missing our three, two to three stud receivers, we're missing J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, or not Gus Edwards, Justice yeah. Hill. Um, 
you know, we're pulling people off the practice squad. However, Zay Flowers is a stud. Mark Andrews mm-hmm. is still out there. Our defense is missing a substantial amount of people. Um, but our two, our two, you know, beast linebackers are out there and they're having a better season than I've ever seen them have in uh, Patrick Queen and Roquan. So I'm always going to go with my boys. Fuck Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I, you know, I love you, bro, but... Uh... I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Mr. Uh, Mr. Massage Toucher, <laughs> Watson. Massage. Mr. Massage this. Um, so yeah, I got the Browns on that one. But the next game is gonna be the Panthers and uh, the Minnesota Vikings. What do you like about this matchup? And who do you got? Mm. I'm going uh, going Vikings, man. Uh, Kirk Cousins is a beast, dude. Uh, he's just a goober, but I I, I think he just. He's just balling, dude. He just can't no, stop. He is, and, um, he is. He's uh he's doing really yeah. good. I mean, yeah. no, it's not I mean he's doing good, but he's just not doing enough to get the win. But uh I think the yeah. Vikings can finally sneak their first win in for uh this year. Dude, did you say I thought you said Panthers are playing the Rams? They're playing Jacksonville, aren't they? Yeah. And uh I said I said Carolina. Said, they I yeah, said Carolina. Said Carolina yeah. Atlanta, I'm still gonna go with the Rams. Um, but back to Carolina. Again, Carolina looks like shit. Um, so yeah, <laughs> definitely going with Vikings. Okay. What about you, Corey? You know, on this <laughs> one, I'm, I'm, that. two, you know, two O and three teams, man. Yeah. Uh, the better of the O and three teams that, you know, out of these two, I'd have to go with the Vikings for sure. I mean, you know, they have Justin Jefferson, who's, you know, an absolute stud, one of the best, in, if not the best in the league at receiver, yeah. you know? Um, I think they've had a lot of turnovers lately. I think they need to clean a, a few things up, but. You know, versus a, a rookie quarterback, uh, I feel like Kirk Cousins will be saying, you like that, you like that. So we'll yeah. see what's up. <laughs> but you never know, you never know. The next yeah. game is gonna we'll be, huh? No, I said, you. we'll see what's up. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, no, it's gonna be good. Kirko, Kirko Cousins. Um, next game is the Bengals and the Titans. And this one is uh, in Tennessee. I don't really know if I'm impressed with the Bengals this year. Yeah, um, I feel like they haven't really shown a whole lot to a lot of things, but uh, for that reason, I'm going to go with Tennessee on this one because, as a wise man once said, "Got to go with my boy D Hop," and that wise man was Tyler. So, who do you got on this one, <laughs> dude? I again, I'm just so disappointed in, in how D Hop's been treated as far as a quarterback goes. Um, they're not giving him touches that he deserves or that he needs to get to help this team win. Um, and they're just not looking good, man. I, I don't like this matchup at all, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think the Bengals look good either. I'm not. I mean, I'm a Ravens fan, so. Yeah. Uh, but if I if, if I were to have to put money on it, I would go with the Bengals for sure. What about you, Corey? I'm just gonna say one thing: D Hop, you should have signed with the fucking Patriots instead of the Titans. You fucked up, kid. But it's okay. That's not, I agree. That's not, that's, not the, that's not the point. That's not the point here. All right. I so think D Hop, honestly, let me let me I think D Hop would have fitted in really good in Dallas. But then again, you look Probably. at Dallas and like Trayvon Diggs went down. We'll get to that right now. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, as far as as far as this matchup here, uh, I'm gonna go. I have, I have to go with the Bengals. You know, the Bengals, like you said, haven't looked the most, you know, put together team in the NFL. And you know. It's still early. I think that you know, you know, Joe Burrow's injured right now. His calf is injured. All this shit's going on with him. His ankle or his calf, whatever it is. But he's going through some. Uh, obviously, his O line is shit too. I mean, that's always been a thing for him. So his mobility around, like running around on an injury, is probably not the best. But I have to go with Joe Burrow at this at this point, man. Um, the Titans are not looking fucking good, but you know, the Bengals have you know Jamar Chase. They have. Uh, uh, who's it? Tyler Boyd. Is it Tyler Boyd or T Higgins? T Higgins. Excuse me. Uh, Boyd so, Higgins. Joe Mixon's looking good. Yeah. Joe Mixon. They got a squad, bro. They got it. They got a good squad, but yeah. uh, and you know maybe they get it together this weekend. So we'll see. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Next game, you got Baker Mayfield going up against the NFC South rival Woo! in New Orleans. Um, I'm gonna go with the Buccaneers on this one. I think uh, since Derek Carr got deflated, you know, went down. Um, <laughs> I mean, we saw what happened with Green Bay last week. We came back, but not this yeah. week. But um, I think the Buccaneers, you know, they're coming off of a loss last week. So 
Mm -hmm. I think that they're going to turn things around and they're going to get the dub in uh, New Orleans. What about you, Corey? You know, on this one, man, you got to think about, think back the past, what, three years when the GOAT was in Tampa. He yeah. struggled so much against the fucking Saints, bro. That The, the Saints defense is, is locked in, bro. Uh, if the GOAT had any fucking trouble with that, I'm pretty sure Baker's going to have a little trouble with that. Mike Evans has been balling out this year. Like, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah. I just feel like Baker's going to have a little trouble with that defense, with the pressure, you know, Cam Jordan's going to be fucking in his face all game. Uh, and I feel like I, I'm taking the Saints on this one. I know that Jameis Winston is, uh, <laughs> is, is going to be playing and shit, but I'm going to take, take the Saints. Okay. I can understand that. What about you, Tyler? Yeah, this one's a toss-up, too. Um, I've been going back and forth between the two. Um, but... Uh, Again, I'm a huge Mike Evans fan, so I'm gonna go with with Tampa, um, just because they did let me down against the Cowboys. I did put a lot of money on them, um, and it, it just worked out terribly. But uh, I think they're coming back with a grudge and uh, and just feed Mike Evans, man. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, pretty much. Right up. He's a uh, he's a dog. A dog's got to eat. Oh, next game, dog. <laughs> yeah, next game is probably going to be game of the week. I don't know why they're saying that the uh, Broncos and Bears is game of the week. What the? Know. I'm just, I'm just fucking. <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck said that? I'm just I was like, fucking with you. But the game of the <laughs> week is going to be uh, Miami at Buffalo. Yes. I'm going with Miami on this one because I got Tyree Kill. Yeah. I think he's going to shoot for over 30 fantasy points. Thank you. Who do you got? You talking me? Talking me? Oh. But who I got, uh, man, this, got is a, 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 this, this is a, a division, uh, you know, in my division, at least AFC East, uh, you know, I'm taking the Dolphins on this one, man. I just feel like fucking, dude, they're just on fire right now, bro. Their, their roster is so stacked, like on defense and offense, man. And keep in mind, they don't even have freaking uh, Jalen Ramsey right now, you know, as yeah. corner, one of their corner, he's injured still. But their offense is just incredible, bro. Yeah. Like they scored 70 on the fucking Broncos, dude, just, you know, last week. I like got that, that's fucking crazy. They, they almost beat. I think they almost took the number one spot. If they would have kicked the field goal, they would have took the number one spot of the highest offensive performance in the NFL. So just for that fact, bro. Yeah, I know Josh Allen is great. You know Stephon Diggs is great, but you got Jalen Waddle. You got fucking Tyreek Hill, uh, Mostert. I mean, you, you you know it's a it's a stacked ass team. I'm taking yep. I'm taking the Dolphins. You know. Yep. What about you, Tyler? <sighs> yeah, um, I'm gonna go against you guys on this. One. I, I don't think Miami can continue uh, going undefeated. Uh, plus, my brother is just getting on my damn nerves with the Miami Dolphins, dude. And uh, <laughs> and like I said, man, it's no, it's it's any given Sunday. Any team can win. Um, True. Miami is not going to stay undefeated for for long. And I think that this is the uh, the week that they'll lose. Although the Bills are favored, which I don't know how that's even a thing. But uh, I'm going to go with the Bills. I'm not putting money on them because doesn't make any sense to but yeah definitely yeah, both. yeah I and, and i think i think Tua is number one right now as far as uh passing yards in the nfl man and i think he only has like one or two picks no it's like eight it's justin herbert and lamar i think or maybe uh, after I, last week this, i was thinking yeah. i was thinking the week before last yeah yeah after last week I, well i looked it up today he's at like over a thousand right now that's what i'm saying i think yeah, lamar's, yeah, yeah. Around, lamar's around like eight or something like that Nice. But yeah. well, he, he just fucking he's balling man um the next game is the uh week four drizzling shits bowl and we got the <laughs> Denver broncos at the chicago bears who do you guys got on this one the old toilet bowl who do you got in this one Tyler? <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna go i'm gonna go, god i hate this game i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go denver broncos man i got russ i got russ on my yeah. As my second quarterback on my two quarterback league, I got Sutton. And I think that they've done pretty pretty well um, given they've lost everything. But yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Broncos just because of the terrible game. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the Broncos because <laughs> fuck the Bears. Corey, what do you got? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to go Broncos too, man. Uh, you know, fucking Justin Fields, man, like, he, yeah, he, he ain't the best passer with the football. I mean, he has that bad offensive line, too, but, I mean, yeah, I'm going Broncos. That's, I don't really have too much to say about this. That's, yeah. That's pretty much it. 
Uh, <laughs> next game, you got NFC East rivals, the Washington Commanders at Philadelphia Eagles. Who do you got on this one, Corey? Uh, you know, I'm going to take the Eagles, man. Uh, I really like the Commanders, though. I mean, I, I really do, but I think the Eagles have a really complete team as far as receivers on offense. Um, their D-line is fucking amazing, bro. Uh, their, you know, the running back core is pretty good, too. So, all around, like, they're, they're the better team that should win, and I think I'm going to have to take them, for sure. Eagles. Yeah. I'm going Eagles, too. What about you, Tyler? Yeah, the given the given answer would be the Eagles. However, I'm going to go with Washington. Chase Young is back and healthy. He's going to be getting after um, Jalen Hurts a little bit. Um, mm. Again, I, I I don't think the Eagles are as good as they as they proceed to be. They do have the best defensive line, which is why they're so good. Um, but you know, it's 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 a division game. They always fight, and um, you know, again, any given Sunday, I'm going Washington. Yeah, I like I like that. Understood. Next game is Pittsburgh at Houston. Who do you like on this one, uh, Tyler? Oh, Pittsburgh, Houston. I was thinking about this earlier today. I'm going with Houston. Um, I'm liking what I see at a CJ Stroud and Tank Dell. Um, I picked up Tank on my fantasy team, and he is just balling, dude. Um, that's why I put him on the rookie of the year um, for the uh, Instagram post, uh, yeah. or as far as being in the challenges being one of the rookies of the year or at least you know, in the runner but uh but yeah Houston all the way for sure nice what about you Corey yeah man uh so CJ CJ Stroud was actually named the offensive rookie of, of the month so I mean that's that's a little something that a little tidbit there but I don't know man I, I feel like the Steelers defense is solid and they're going to be getting after CJ Stroud you know putting a lot of pressure in his face uh, I think uh, P uh, Kenny Pickett's finally starting to get a little more confidence, you know, being in the NFL. He had, a, you know, a few starts last year. Uh, you know, he, or, yeah, he started last year, but uh, going into this year, he looks a little more confident, you know, and more poised. So I'm going to go with the Steelers. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm going with, uh, I'm going to go with the Texans on this one. Just, just for fun. Uh, next game is the Raiders at the Chargers in LA. Uh, we were going to go to this game with Nathan, but he wants to go to the Chiefs and Chargers. So I'm going to go with, uh, I know Eckler's out. I know Derwin James is inactive as well, but I'm still going to take the Chargers over the Raiders. I think that the Raiders just, they just can't figure it out, but the Chargers defense yeah. is pretty solid. So I got LA. What about you, Corey? Uh, so I'm going to go with I'm gonna have to go with the Chargers as well, you know, like just building off what you said, you know, the, the Raiders seem like to not be able to get it together. Who knows if Jimmy G's gonna be healthy the whole game? The guy gets injured constantly, bro. So that's obviously a huge factor. Yeah. Um, you know, they did lose, like you said, they, they, uh, you know, Austin Eckler's not gonna be playing. You know, Mike Williams is out now for the season. You know, they have a lot against them, you know, as far as offensively, but, they have Justin Herbert at the end of the day. The dude could sling it. You know, they have that rookie, Quentin Johnson. That dude, he, he's kind of like a Mike Evans kind of kind of guy to me. I, that's how I look at him. The same type of game that they play. You know, they still got uh, Keenan Allen. So I, I'm taking I'm taking the Chargers on this. Nice. What about you, Tyler? Yeah, um, Jimmy G is questionable for this week. Uh, it is in L.A. I'm going to go with the Chargers. Keenan Allen had the most fantasy points last week. I mean, I got him. I got what? him. He yep. he balled out, dude. It was it yeah. was stupid. I mean, even over Miami having all those high scores on our team, Keenan Allen still managed to outscore everybody. Um, Crazy. And it's in LA again, so I'm going with Chargers. Yep. Well, looks like we're all in favor for that one. The next game, we're more than likely going to all be in favor for this is the NFC West rivals. You got the Arizona Cardinals taking on San Francisco 49ers. I got the Niners defense on fantasy. That's who I got as the winner. What about you, Tyler? You know me, man. 49ers guy. I, uh, if I wasn't a Ravens fan, I would be a 49ers fan. They that was a rhetorical they, they have the, They have the great white hope on their team. So, you know, I'm going 49ers all the way. <laughs> what about you, uh, Corey? Uh, you know, man, I'm going 49ers. You know, <laughs> Cardinals have, have some life and have some fight in them, and I, and I respect yeah. it, but... Against that 49ers roster, bro, I, I just can't see it happening. Uh, like, I don't think there's going to be, like, another upset, like, how there was last week with the Cowboys. So, 
I'm taking 49ers. Nice. Well, the next game, I think I know who you're taking because uh, we got New England in Dallas. And this is allegedly the America's game of the week. Um, yeah. Two solid teams going at it. You know, I know a few, both teams are, um, you guys are two and one or you guys one and two? One and two. One and two. Okay, so you guys got to win under your belt. Cowboys are coming off a loss, obviously, to Arizona. They're going to be pissed off. They're at home. Zeke coming back to Dallas, his old team. I'm just going to say it right now. I am going to go with the Patriots on this one. I hope and pray that they win, and I'm just going to roll the dice and say I'm going to go with New England. Um, I want to see Zeke get, get like two, three touchdowns in Dallas. Um, and I want to see Mac Jones have a pretty solid game. I know he's he's been trying to have a rough start, but um, they'll get it together. Is this Mac hurt, though? No, nah, he's not hurt right now. Oh, okay. What do you got on this one, Tyler? Um, yeah, dude, I, I, I um, I'm gonna go with Patriots too, man. I, I, I'd like to see the Cowboys lose, and um, no Trayvon Diggs, and yeah, I mean, it's it's gonna be a tough one. Definitely, uh, the Cowboys are a better team, but I'm gonna go Patriots for sure. Corey, we already know. <laughs> I'm going Patriots, <laughs> brother. <laughs> No, honestly, man, <laughs> this is going to be a tough one for the Patriots, though. I mean, you know, the Cowboys have a really good roster as well. Their offense is pretty good. But the only thing about this is that the Cowboys' O-line is pretty banged up right now. So that's going to mean, you know, we got Keon White, a rookie, coming in, going into Dak's face. We got freaking Matthew Judon. We got Christian Barmore. You know, all these guys are going to be attacking Dak with that shitty O-line right now, injured O-line, I should say. Um, what I want to see, though, I don't want to see, I don't want to see Mac, you know, I want to see him come back in a game, even if we fall behind at first. The one thing I haven't seen out of Mac Jones is that he's a finisher and he's, he can come back and win after being behind, bro. And that's like the like the hardest thing to admit as a, as a Patriots fan. You know, I'm used to Tom Brady, Mr. Comeback King, coming back constantly. Now you have Mac Jones who can't finish a game and can't put a game away. So, you know, I love I love my team so much, man. I'm going to take the Patriots because I'm a fan. I'm not going to take anybody ever other than the Patriots. But it's not going to be easy, but I think they can do it. Yep. Well, the next teams we got are the uh, Chiefs at the Jets. I'm going to go with the Chiefs because no Aaron Rodgers. Zach Wilson shit in the bed. You'd rather hunt MILFs down. By all means, pal, you do you. So uh, <laughs> for that reason, I go with the Chiefs. What about you, Corey? Yeah. Um, I'm taking, like, just to give you a little quick here, I'm taking the Chiefs. I, I feel like Patrick Mahomes is going to have to be careful passing deep. You got Sauce Gardner back there. But I think they're going to do it. They got Travis Kelsey and Mahomes' connection. I'm taking the Chiefs. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys heard, but Travis Kelsey's uh, mistress. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's going to be in New York. So <laughs> be on the lookout. Shit's all over social media right now. Uh, you got Tyler, you got the Chiefs? Definitely the Chiefs. Definitely Chiefs. All right, well, the last game we got is Monday night football, and that's going to be Seattle at New York. And uh, I think Geno Smith is going to just shit on the Giants. Same. So. Yep, yeah, I'm going. I'm going Geno Smith all <laughs> the way. I'm going Seahawks, yep. Yeah. All right, well, that's pretty much all we got for y'all tonight. Week four picks. If you guys like our content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna be uh, having some merch dropping pretty soon. T-shirts, hoodies, it's fall time. So, you know, you can get some workout gear. It's gonna be some some pretty good uh, material. So we're very excited about it, guys. We're gonna have some other events coming up here very soon. But as always, Corey and Tyler, do you guys got anything else for the audience? No, sir, like and subscribe, baby. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Baby, we got yep. a lot of good stuff coming out. Some good interviews coming out, guys. You don't want to miss it, so fucking subscribe. You better subscribe. So, yeah, we're getting, uh, like I said, just to touch on it very quickly, we're getting merch. So we're going to have, like, rolling trays and lighters. And uh, we're trying to – we're working on some sponsors right now. But uh, really exciting things coming, guys. We're in the last quarter of 2023. And uh, this brand hasn't even been up for a year yet. So just imagine where we're going to go next year. But as always – this is JB, Corey, and Tyler, and uh, we're the Blown Coverage. So we'll see you next time. <laughs>